bow your heads. Father, we just come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just want to thank you for today. We thank you for your presence. Father, we just thank you for our family. Lord, I just pray for everyone here at church, on Facebook, on YouTube. Lord, I pray for everyone that is going through their problems. So, Lord, we just come to you in the name of Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. So, if you can go around and touch somebody right now, guys. This is the time when we touch people. Go ahead and touch somebody. You tell them you love them. Hey, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Happy birthday. Tell somebody you love them. Happy birthday. Today was our birthday or a couple days ago. You know, God is doing amazing things. He's working out miracles after miracles. And there's a special request. Come on up here, Chase. We're going to pray with Chase, church. He's walking like a robot. But Father God, I just come to you in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for this man, Lord, that you anoint him with the Holy Spirit. Lord, I ask that you cleanse his mind, cleanse his heart. Lord, right now he's going through something. We don't know what it is, but you do. Father, you said that you would never leave us nor forsake us. So, Lord, I, I plead the blood of Jesus over him, Lord, that his nerves, everything he's going through, Lord, that you're going to set him on fire for Christ. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I claim this, that he is healed. Right now when he leaves his service, service, Lord, that you're going to heal his body. In Jesus' name, from every sickness, I claim this. Amen. Come on, church, put y'all's hands together. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know what? This is the time we're all going to focus on Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Father. You know what? I ask that you bring the Holy Spirit in this room. That you usher the Holy Spirit in this room. That somebody right now that's tuning in, that they're going through problems financially. Lord, I'm claiming it right now. That every burden is broken. I'm claiming it over every relationship that the devil tried to break up. Father, I just claim it over every relationship. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Somebody say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I claim this right now in Jesus' name. Oh, glory. Thank you, Father. Lord, I speak peace, love. Everywhere we go, that this church will start to grow. I pray over the ones on Facebook right now, the ones over YouTube. The ones that couldn't get this station today, Lord. The ones that couldn't even wake up today, Father. Your, your word says that you will never leave us nor forsake us. So, right, Lord, right now I stand on your word. That you are in this building like never before. That you're going to shake this church up. Thank you, Father. But right now we have to be broken. Give us a contrite heart to be broken. Lord, break us, mold us, shape us. Father, you are the power. We are the clay. Mold us, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, I pray for the healing and power and restoration of your word. That your words are being fulfilled. Lord, I know right now that Russia, they said Russia and Ukraine are going to have a war. Lord, I'm claiming peace right now. Like right now, Father. That you're going to step in this country right now. And I claim over everyone that's sick, that they are healed. The ones that are in the hospital over COVID, that they are healed. I also want to pray for Apostle James Baker, that he is healed from COVID right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, for healing the ones, the ones that are sick. I know, now, I know the weather's going to be bad this week. I pray for the homeless, Lord, that you comfort them, that you give them peace on the streets. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for everyone, the other one that's lost. Use your words and the ones that are lost that we found. Thank you, Father. It's time to surrender. If you can't hold your hands up to the Lord and surrender to Him, that's the only way He can use you. You gotta surrender right now, like never before. Come on, church. Say it. I surrender. I want you to surrender. Repeat after me. Say, I surrender. I surrender. Thank you, Father. Oh, oh Lord. Thank you. Have your way, Lord. It's time to surrender, like never before, the church. We quit holding on to the thing that's holding us back. There's so many things holding you back. You know what's holding you back? It's you. You have to surrender right now to Jesus. I want y'all to repeat after me. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I believe he rose on the third day. You know, if you pray that prayer right now, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. I claim glory right now. I claim victory right now for our children. Thank you, Jesus. 
for your presence in this building. Lord, I'm asking that you bring more people into the church, that the church starts to grow. Only through you, Lord, only through your presence, that we are healed from any sickness, from any darkness. The ones that are addicted to drugs, I ask in the name of Jesus that they get rid of the drugs right now. The ones that are addicted to the alcohol, that they get rid of the alcohol, that they become renewed by your strength. I claim this in the name of Jesus, by the power of the blood. Father, that we don't have to suffer anymore. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, hallelujah! Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. All glory. Thank you, Jesus. You know, church camp's about to come out. We're going to have church camp again this year. This year not. Y'all kids ready for church camp? Oh, they must have fun at church camp last year. Thank you, Lord, for the children of the church. You see, we need to start getting our children back in the church. That's what's wrong with the church today. They don't have children in the church. But this church is different. This is Unified Family Church. UFC stands for Unified Family Church. This is where we beat up the devil. Y'all put y'all's hands together, y'all. Come on now. Come on, put y'all's hands together. We're going to play one more song. We always play two songs. And I want everybody to concentrate on the Lord. Okay, you guys get to perform a little bit. The kids want to perform Wally Wally. If you don't know who's doing it. But right now we're going to listen to one more song. We're going to listen to one more song. And we're going to pay attention to what the Lord's doing, okay? Come on, y'all. It's time to beat the devil up. But you can only do it through praise and worship. Praise and worship changes things. I want y'all to praise and worship. Through the worst times of your life. Thank God. When you thank God in the worst times of your life, that's when he shows up and shows out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Thank you. You know what? Even though things may seem like it's worse, but you are undefeated. You are a child of the Most High. Once you accepted Jesus, you are a child of the Most High. Things may not be right when you want it, but you always receive it. It may not be when you want it, but God is always on time. Can I get a hallelujah? God is always on time. Come on now. He's undefeated. That is our champion. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for fighting my battles. Romans 8, 31 said, If God is for us, who can be against us? Y'all repeat after me. Romans 8, 31 said, If God is for us, who can be against us? Thank you, Father. Lord, I claim it against any kind of wicked stronghold that has no dominion of this church. Thank you, Jesus. Let your Holy Spirit in this room cast your angels all around us, Father. And no disease, no sickness will ever come in this room. In the name of Jesus, we surrender to you right now, Father. You know, someday when you walk into heaven, when God says, well done, you're going to say, undefeated. God is a champion. He's fighting all your battles. You see, we don't have to fight our battles when we're Christians. God fights your battles. Undefeated. Thank you, Father. We're fighting our battles. He's a redeemer. The redeemer he is. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We are undefeated. We are champions. Come on, y'all. Champion. Say, I'm a champion of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. You know, things may seem like it's worse, but it only gets better. Things only get better. But you got to believe in what God says about you. Because he loves you. First Peter 5, 7 says, trust him. Because he cares for you. I want you to start trusting him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Things only get better. Thank you, Lord. That we're going to fight these battles. That no matter what they say about you, some people say you can't do it. Some people say you never make it. Some people talked about you. Some people lied about you. They, they speak and they still talk about you. But right now, I want you to know God says he loves you. He loves you. He's going to lead the way. They talked about Jesus. They hated him. They spit on him. They put him on a cross. They beat him to death. They're doing you the same way. But you got to know, you are undefeated. You are undefeated. Somebody say, I'm undefeated. I'm undefeated. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. You know, I talk to a lot of guys now. I just want a championship ring. But you're already a champion. But you accepted Jesus. You are already a champion. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for fighting our battles. 
In the name of Jesus, I speak peace right now. Come on, church, put your hands together now. If I can have some church. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, I just want to pray for my brother like words. Lord, that you give him peace. That you give him peace. That he comes back to the church soon. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I speak against anything that's holding him back. And no matter what he's doing, Father, that you're going to be with him. Lord, I pray for the people, the ones that stepped away from the church, Lord. That you put them back in the church. Thank you, Jesus, for making a way out of no way, Lord. Thank you for being our Savior. Thank you, Jesus. If you can close your eyes and concentrate on God, just for one moment. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Lord. Just think about it. You didn't have anything, but God said he'll provide all your needs according to his riches through the glory of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus for being our Redeemer. We've already won the battle. I claim to get saved. He has no dominion over you right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Y'all make some noise for Jesus. Christ. Somebody get that bottom line. I got a couple announcements. Get that bottom line from me, uh, Devontae, if you can. Oh, my gosh. She's not, oh, she got it. Okay. We got a couple announcements, guys. What's going on, church? My wife always plays the clown music, but she always forgets. We do this every week, I think, guys. Guys, tomorrow we're going to be feeding the homeless. You guys ever go? You guys want to go feed the homeless? Skip school? No. No. Oh my God. Here we go. Hey. Hey, come on, Chase. I don't think Chase can move. He looks like he got hit by a diesel. Hey. 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 Chase. 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 Hey. 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 Oh, yeah, that'll work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One more time. Come on, guys. Uh oh, Chase. <laughs> All right. All right. We got a couple of announcements. We got a new dog, by the way. You got to see the dog. We got a church mascot. Oh, my gosh. Well, tomorrow we're going to be feeding the homeless. We're going to be getting out there giving socks away. Just feeding them, and you guys are more than welcome. We're gonna give them pizza. They love pizza, don't they? Yeah. Yes, they do. You do too, sounds yeah. like. We're gonna get out there and feed them pizza. Uh, also, we're gonna on Friday we're on our family night. We have movie night up here. You guys are more than welcome to come up here. Drop your kids off. My wife loves kids. You can drop all of the kids off. And Bentley might even be coming that day. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna be doing Friday. Uh, oh my God, this guy just fell. Friday will be family night, and Saturday there is a UFFA football game. Yes, sir. Unified Family Church will be at the football game. Sunday there will be another football game. Hey. So make sure, come on up for kids. The kids are fixing to sing a song. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Put on Wally Wally if you can. No, 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 no. no. I'm going to hold the mic. Y'all want to hold the mic. Come on. Come on up here. We're going to play a song. Come on up here, guys. We're going to do a song called Wally Wally. Wally Wally. Oh, baby. Y'all make some noise for the kids. Let me pull these kids. Come on up here, y'all. Come on up here. Come on up here. We're going to sing a song called Wally Wally. All the kids are going to sing. Come on. Come on. Hold it, because y'all are going to be doing it. Come on up here, guys. Bring the dog up here, too. Bring the dog. Bring the dog. Bring the dog up here. Thank you. Bring Oreo up here.
chocolate powder donut together. Jesus on my mind. We're going to get up. We're going to walk around. Uh, 
This is the time to get ready to touch the kids and run around go crazy. This is an intermission. Guys, y'all ready to have some fun? Are y'all ready to have some fun? Who's ready for church camp? Man, if y'all don't know, y'all can check us out on Facebook. We had a big camp this summer. We're going to do it again. Uh, we had all kind of dancing and fun and food. I mean, I ate so much. I had so much fun. And we went swimming. You know what, Pastor Jay? I'm a pretty good swimmer. I can swim pretty good, can I? Give me. I can swim pretty good. Did Pastor Jay swim pretty good? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, everybody get around. You can touch somebody real quick. We're going we're gonna to focus on Jesus right now. Tell somebody you love them. You can run around the church or whatever you want to do. Jesus on my mind. It's time to keep Jesus on my mind. It's time to focus on Jesus. They don't want to see you shine. There's so many haters out there. Jesus on my mind. I got Jesus. If you want to go through speaking in a little bit. I got Jesus on my mind. Come on, y'all. Tell somebody you love them. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? I want you to focus on Jesus. Right now. Somebody tell somebody, tell them what you love. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, I just pray, Father, till we'll be done. Lord, I pray that everything will go through, Lord. 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 Love, that you take our hearts. The reason we need to focus, we need to focus on Jesus on our mind. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you for your presence. Somebody say, I got Jesus on my mind. Thank you, Jesus. God. Thank you, Father. But I'm going to pray right now. And everything will go up here, Lord. That you're going to see us through it. That you're going to see us through it, Lord. So don't want to be able to walk through the fire and not even get burnt. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. For the peace you put in our hearts. Yes. Come on, somebody say that. Jesus on my mind. Say it with me, y'all. I got Jesus on my mind. Keep him on your mind. Amen. I like your hand, though, brother. Got Jesus on. Come on, say it. Jesus on my mind, Jesus on my mind, there you go, we got Jesus on our mind, hey, hallelujah, hallelujah, go ahead, stop that baby, we're going to go pray all night, here we go guys, it's time to beat the devil up y'all, close your eyes, Father God, I just come to you in the name of Jesus, somebody say Jesus, Father, we just focus on you right now, Lord, we ask that your will be done, Lord, I just thank you, Lord, for today's message. Lord, I ask that you move me out the way as you take over, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Can I say amen? Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Today's message is called, Keep Your Joy. Keep Your Joy. You know that's hard to do, to keep your joy? It is. It's very hard to do. Have you ever gotten in traffic and y'all see somebody driving and you cut them off or they cut you off? How many times have y'all done that? You go to church, as soon as you leave here, you give them the middle finger. Huh? My wife, I want y'all to pray for my wife. She used to, she used to be a driver. My kids, right now to this day, they remember that old Mimi. Boy, she get around that corner. Derek be like, oh, slow down, no. You gotta keep your joy. And somebody cut her off. Oh my God, you're hearing so many words. This is what we have to do. First thing I want to talk about: never let them see you sweat. We should never let people see us sweat when we go through things. We gotta learn to keep our composure. You ever play a basketball game? Guys get mad, people get mad, they get into it. You should never let people see you sweat. Because people want to see you sweat. They want to see you upset. They want to see you mad. But you got to keep your joy. No matter what you go through, you got to keep your joy. And never let them see you sweat. Don't give away your joy. Don't let things make you upset. And I think a lot of us do that. We let people make us mad. How many times you go to work, people make you mad, you just want to slap them? Anybody go to work? Wow. Yeah. Oh, you got a job? What about when you go to school? Does, does your teacher or anybody make you mad? And you just want to slap them? I know, but you know what? You look like you need to be slapped. Anyway, you ever, go to, you ever go, to, go to work? You got to start wiping your feet at the door. You got to keep your joy. 
You can't let people bring you down because that's what they want to do. Like relationships, if you have a good relationship, somebody, they never, you know, I used to remember in high school when I was, when I'd be with a girl or something, a girlfriend, their friends didn't like me, so they talked about me, so they want to make us break up. That's exactly what some people do. They want you to break up. They do not want you happy. But you have to keep your joy. No matter what you're going through, even though people don't change, we can. You know, a lot of people, they don't want to change. They don't want to change. But we can. As Christians, we can change who we are. I remember I used to be, I used to be so rude. I'd be so bad. I'd cuss people out. I'd do all this kind of stuff. I, I was at Pepe. One day I said, Pepe? Somebody asked Pepe, I can't remember. I was like, Pepe, do your dad ever cuss? I said, Pepe, do I ever cuss? She goes, no, but my mommy does. I was like, wow. She threw her mommy under the bus. We was with somebody. We was in the car. I was like, Pepe, did daddy ever cuss? She goes, no, but mommy does. I was like, wow. <laughs> but kids speak the truth, don't they? Yeah. Don't they? <laughs> but don't let distractions hold you back. There's a lot of things distracting us from holding us back. And I tell everybody all the time, social media, it will hold you back. All the time you want to hear what's going on. How many times do people like TikTok? Raise your hand. I like TikTok. I like TikTok. Oh, wow. I like TikTok. Uh -uh. She likes TikTok. A lot of people like things like that. But we have to learn to keep our composure no matter what we do. We have to keep our joy. We cannot let the devil stop what we're doing. Don't let negative people upset you. Because people are so negative. They will do their best to get you mad. I'm going to tell you right now. If you can go to the scripture, 1 Peter 3 9. 1 Peter 3 9. If you're not there, say hold them up. If you're there, say amen. Everybody's got a phone. Chase can't use this phone, though. 1 Peter 3 9. He's trying, though. Look at him, y'all. Get in there. Get in there. 1 Peter 3 9. 1 Peter 3 9, brother. Can you read it? We can't be like other people. We cannot let people steal our joy. Even though people don't change, we can. God can defend you every single time. But we can't stoop on other people's levels. What does it say, brother? 1 Peter 3 9. Jay? You trying to find it? You got it? You got to come read? Come on up here. What? Me? What? On the contrary, repay evil with blessing because of this you are called so that you may inherit a blessing. Thank you, Thank you sister. Thank God, you. she said it better than me. Do not repay evil with evil. No, repay evil with good and you will inherit a blessing. So when somebody wants something to do something evil to you, if they talk about you, don't talk about them. If they do something bad to you, don't do nothing bad to them. I remember like it was yesterday. I'm not saying no names. I came from a football game, and I, I got I just got a thousand dollar paint job, and I walked outside, y'all. Y'all know what happened? A thousand dollar paint job, and guess what happened? I looked at my car. Somebody keyed my car. They keyed my car. They keyed my car. A thousand dollar paint job. You know what I wanted to do? Man, I'm gonna return evil for evil. But that was the old me. You know what I did? I, I went and gave poor flats. <laughs> but that's to return evil for evil. We don't want to return evil for evil. We don't want to do exactly what somebody's done to you that's evil. Because it makes you no better than them. But if you return evil for good, God said he'll bless you. Can you guys think of a time that somebody done something bad to you? And you returned it back for evil? It backfired on you, didn't it? If you cheat on somebody, they cheat on you, it's no better. Somebody cheats on you, then you cheat on them, it's even worse. But I'm going to tell you something. We can't do exactly what people do to us. We need to do good. And I'm going to tell you an example. Second thing I want to talk about, don't get involved with battles that hold you back. A lot of us get battled with, with, with things that hold us back. When you get into an argument, you know, a lot of times me and my wife, we get into arguments, I got to bite my tongue. Because I know the old man, I know she can go off. We both last night, it's like yesterday, y'all. I said, Make sure, babe, go to Walmart and buy me some sweet potatoes. I call, I'm about to come home. I'm hungry. I'm rushing home. I'm going to go eat. I was like, did you have those sweet potatoes? Uh, I forgot them. 
I said, Woo! You forgot him. I'm like, how's you gonna forget me? I'm good. I'm good. I was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I was gonna return even for him. You know what I was gonna do? I had her food in the car, I was gonna leave it in the car. Three hours, come home. I said, no, I ain't gonna do it like that. I ain't gonna return even for you. I just go to Walmart. I'll come home, play it off, make me some meat. But if I would have got upset and just left her food in the car, she would have been mad. She would have been angry. would have been gangbanging, going back and forth. But we cannot return evil for evil as Christians, guys. Don't get involved with battles that hold you back. We all have a calling. Your job is to do what God has called you to do. Everybody wants to know something. They have to be like God. We need to be exactly what God has called us to do. Not do the same things we used to do. We can't do the same things we used to do. I can't go to the same places I used to go to. My son the other day said, hey, Pops. Well, not, not, not my son. Somebody else called me the other day. He said, hey, you want to go out, you wanna go out to Bricktown? At 4 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, no Chase. I'm not saying no name is Chase. You want to come to Bricktown at 12 o'clock? I said, bro, I don't do them things no more. I'm an old man now, 9 o'clock. I'm sleeping. You see, once we get changed, once we start to do the things we're supposed to do, the enemy wants us to repeat the same things. No matter how you change your life, the devil will always try to do the things that make you change back to who you used to be. But I'm going to tell you something. Come on, church. Put y'all's hands together. Jesus. Come on, church. Put y'all's hands together. Jesus has restored your relationship. Jesus has changed you. Jesus has done all these things to tell you he loves you. Now, when you start walking like Jesus and being like Jesus, then your life starts to change. Y'all go to James 1, 119. James 1, 119. James 1, 19. Maybe I might have you come up and read that. Come on up here again. That was good. James 1, 19. You see, the enemy wants to distract us. Everything we're doing. Here you go. Dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Amen. Because oh, human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Well, that should be your name. Amen. Scripture, man. Amen. Man. Amen. Slow to speak, yes, quick to listen, slow to anger. Amen. Man, I'm going to give that scripture to my, my wife tonight. I'm going to read that again. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> we need to be slow to speak. Start listening. As kids, if y'all listen, as adults, if we listen, listen, do you know we become more successful if we listen? If we're slow to speak. Do y'all ever met anybody at Mr. Know It All? You say something, they always got to jump in there like they know it all. Do y'all know anybody like that? Every time you say something, they know more than you. There's a lot of us that do that. You can be right there and you know more than this next man. I don't like hanging around those guys. They know they know way more than you do. You know exactly. You was there. But they can tell you exactly they know way more than you do. That's wrong. We need to be slow to speak. Slow to anger. Quick to listen. Come on, somebody say it with me. Slow to speak. Slow to anger. Quick to listen. If you got those things figured out in life, you'll be successful. You'll be successful. I'm going to tell you that right now. Some people are ordained to be just like you, but they want to stop you from getting to the next level. You see, God has a plan. He knows exactly what he wants you to do. But if you start getting upset, do you know you can ruin your blessing by getting mad? By cussing up a storm? How many of y'all, kids, when y'all go to school, tell the truth. Do they cuss on the playground? Any, any kids? Yes. The kids cuss? Tell the truth. Kids? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Tell the truth. You know, I was one of those kids. I know I used to cuss on the playground. I'm going to tell the truth. Hey, hey. Hey, all y'all. All y'all. Yeah, I know you do. But I'm going to tell you something. The words that you use will stop you from getting to the next level. If somebody gets upset at you, I want y'all to do me a church. If somebody gets upset at you, have you ever heard this? Kill them with kindness. Be kind. Speak good things to them. You see, I'm going to tell you something. The old me, my old me, and my wife would be like, oh no, I forgot you, blah, blah, blah. I'll probably be like, what? Blah, blah, blah. And they say nothing. I said, okay, I'm good. She knew exactly what I meant, though. But you know what? We don't need to start getting into things. We don't need to repay evil for evil. We don't need to argue about the little things. The littlest things hold us back. Amen. The next thing I want to talk about turn negative into positive. We need to turn the negativity in our life to positive things. Don't you get tired of waking up to somebody nagging, always telling you what to do? Have you ever known anybody like that? 
Does anybody know anybody like that? They always nagging, always talking about you, always trying to tell you what to do. Let's start taking on the things that are positive. Let's think positive about our situations. Let's turn things to positive. You don't know what you got till it's gone. Cherish everything. Honor your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Honor your wife. Honor your brother, your sister. Don't let the little things hold you back. Be grateful because God is going to change your past. Everything is a test. Amen. Your past, everything is a test. You've been renewed. You've been changed. But you have to accept what God is doing for that. Turn negative into positive. It's time for you right now. This is your season. Don't let people steal your joy. Y'all see those, shirt, those shirts? Not today, Satan. Have anybody seen those shirts? Yeah. Not today, Satan. We cannot let Satan steal our joy anymore or steal what God has given us. And he's given us the joy, the power of Jesus. Stop letting him do that. Somebody go to the scripture. Proverbs 27, 1. Proverbs 27, 1. Some people are like garbage trucks. They go around giving frustration, bitterness. All the garbage piles up. They need somewhere to dump it. So they take it out on you. Okay. A lot of people take it out on you. What's that scripture? Go to that scripture. Proverbs 27 1. If you're not there, say hold them up. If you're there, say amen. Come on up here again, sister. Proverbs 27 1. Well, she's doing a good job. Y'all put some noise. Make some noise for me, baby. Proverbs 27 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid of? Y'all hear that? The Bible says, who should you be afraid of? You don't have to worry about man. The Lord is your salvation. Not a man. Nobody can tell you what to do. They can. But you have to know to understand is it the right thing to do? Don't let people discourage you. Do not be discouraged. The ones that's walking around like a dump truck want to be negative, bitter. Turn that into something positive. People talk about you because they know that you're in God's plan. They talk about you because they know you're one of God's family members. You're destined for greatness. 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 Because you know what they're going to do, guys? They're going to talk about you. Your own family members are going to talk about you. Everybody will talk about you because you know what? You are destined for greatness. Everything that you're going through, you got to keep your joy. You have to know that God has a plan. People will continue to talk about you. They will not. They will start to steal your joy no matter what. They're going to try to steal your joy. But today, church, I challenge you, I ask you to take on this, to let God lead the way, to be thankful, to be grateful, to be joyful, to accept what God's purpose is for your life. Don't worry about what the next man is doing, because the next man, they're struggling, they're strength up, because they're, they're in that situation because of them. And they're going to keep talking about you. They're going to keep laughing about you. Hit that bottom line. Can you hit that bottom line? Stand up, church. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray real quick. But I want you guys to believe in this prayer. I want you to really believe in this prayer. She's going to put up some music real quick. Father, I just pray right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I just claim it right now, Father. Victory. Lord, I speak peace. Lord, I speak love. Lord, I speak everything against the wicked one, Lord. That right now, Father, your plans are being fulfilled in our life. That you're going to keep our joy in our hearts. Yes, Lord. That we're going to come in your presence, Lord. That people are going to talk about us, no matter what it is, Father. That we're going to overcome it. That you're going to give us peace. Everything that we're going through, Lord, that you have a plan and a purpose. That we're going to walk by faith, not by sight. Lord, I know that they talk about us. I know that they backbite. But Lord, I ask that we keep our joy, no matter what we're going through, Lord. Because in the morning, Father, joy comes in the morning. It may look bad now, but Lord, your plans are being fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Lord, I speak against anything that's holding anyone back. Father, that they get favor in their relationship with their boyfriend, with their girlfriend, with their finances, with their problems, Lord. That you already got their backs. But they have to understand, Lord, that you are in control. That God fights our battles. That we don't fight our battles. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord.
thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Start thanking him right now. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father. We are so thankful. We'll be thankful, Father, that we don't have to worry about struggling, Father, that we don't have to worry about anything that they have to worry about the world, because, Father, we're going to heaven. If you're going to heaven, put your hands together right now. Put your hands together. Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus, Father, I claim against any wicked hope, Father, that any purpose that everybody has, Father, that it be fulfilled. Your word says, all things work together for the good, for those who love God, called according to your purpose, Father. So we stand in your word, Father. We know, Father, right now, Father, that the enemy cannot stop what you're doing, Father. Isaiah 54, 17 says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, somebody say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, right now, the devil's scared. He cannot stop what you've done. You've already ordained us, Father. Your promises are being fulfilled in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father. I praise you. I worship you, Lord. I thank you. I love you, Father. Somebody say, I love you, Father. I love you, Father. Oh, glory. See, God's fighting your battles right now. The enemy's scared. Father, I just thank you, Lord. This is the most important time to me. This is a time of offering. If you can put anything in this bucket, it is a blessing. But I promise you this. It will multiply. You see, Jesus fed 5,000. He said, ask God to multiply everything like he did the fish and the bread. So, Father, I'm speaking of multiplication in this church. Whatever you put in the tithing, that it will grow like never before. I speak it right now in the name of Jesus. Things are tripled. That things will be quite triple in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, y'all. Be silent for a second. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It is you, Father. There's nothing we've done. It's something you're doing, Lord. We're asking you to move us out the way like never before. That right now, things are starting to change and triple in our life. That this season will be our season. No more sickness. No more pain. Those days are coming. And I believe that we have a purpose. That we got to keep our joy. No matter what it seems like. We're going to keep our joy. We're going to fight the good fight. The enemy is scared. I know he's scared. Thank you, Lord. And we put on the whole armor of God. Do y'all know what the whole armor of God is? Yes. The breastplate of righteousness. Yes. These are weapons God gives us. In Ephesians, I want y'all to read it tonight. The whole armor of God. Learn your weapons. Learn your position. Because you have a place in this army. You've already won the battle. You don't have to worry about fighting it. God's going to fight your battles. So, Father, I just thank you, Lord. I come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for everyone here, Lord. I pray for the ones on YouTube, Facebook. Anybody listening to this message today, that they are healed by the power of Jesus. That they are no longer sick. That the ones that are the crippled, that are able to get up and walk. They're able to get up and walk in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You know what? I want to thank you guys for coming out to Unified Family Church. Y'all put y'all's hands together. We love you guys. You guys, next week we'll see you soon. We'll be feeding the homeless tomorrow. If you can make it out there, we appreciate it. Unified Family!